Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. I'm back with a really, hopefully, quick video. And yes, of course, as usual, I gotta play with my hair. Um, I got this really cute hat today. I'm actually really in love with it. My husband's super nice boss, Donna, went to North Carolina on vacation, and my husband and she have a really good working relationship, but they're also friends. They chat on the phone and stuff. And he had said to her when she was going, oh, well, if you're going on vacation, you at least have to bring my wife back a t-shirt. And I, he was joking, totally, but she actually said she looked all over for really cute shirts. She didn't find anything feminine and sweet that she really liked and thought was cool. But she picked me up this awesome hat, and I'm actually really obsessed with it. It says Top Sail Island, which is apparently a really cool place in North Carolina. It's got this little NC logo on the side, and it's all the open mesh in the back, which is perfect for the summer. So it'll keep me shaded but also nice and cool and vented so anyway that was not what this video is about but I wanted to mention it because I shot one earlier and I was not wearing the hat so Donna I know you won't ever see this because you're not on Facebook as far as you know but thank you for the hat um but anyway we went to Walmart I was like seriously jonesing for nacho cheese Doritos which I haven't had in forever so we went there for that we also went there looking for the new as far as I know new limited edition jelly donut Oreos um I'd seen them twice before and my husband kind of made a sour face and said ew so we never got them but my friend Patricia posted on Twitter the other day not on Twitter on Instagram a picture of them and said she really really liked them and that they actually taste like um blueberry filling so I was like oh my god that's it I have to get them and then my husband was like oh well if they'd said blueberry rather than jelly donut I totally would have wanted them so long story short went to Walmart for them and of course they don't have them so I'm really hoping my mom and I have to do some running around tomorrow I'm really hoping to find them at Target but anyway of course, because I was at Walmart and, you know, I'm like inside five years old, I always have to get a treat. So my husband was sweet enough to get me this Sum Sum 3 pack. I actually picked this out. It's slim pickings at my Walmart. They never get like the latest series of anything. And um, if they do get stuff, it's usually few and far between like items that they get this is all the way back to series three they still have a ton of series ones but I picked this pack there are a lot of ones I'm looking for but this was not like it wouldn't have been my first choice but of what they had I really liked it number one because it has a medium sadness in it and I have no sadness yet and number two because this large genie I believe completes my genie stack and I absolutely adore Alice but I actually have her in a small already so this one will definitely end up being gifted to someone in a friend mail or a swap or whatever it is a duplicate now but let me get this open up so you guys can see them better and I always open them from the bottom why did I just open the top that was really stupid I know how to do this Ay, ay, ay. It's just been a day. I mean, if you watched my other video, you know I'm in a pretty crappy-ass mood, so forgive me, but yeah. But this makes me smile. And knowing I have at least my Doritos, even though I couldn't get my Oreos, makes me feel good, too. As soon as I'm done with this, I will probably go eat the entire bag, because, yeah, I could eat my feelings kind of a day. But anyway, these are the three. And as I said, this is my very first sadness. I was not as big a fan of Inside Out as I expected to be. I legit thought I would love, love, love that movie, like more than life itself. And I thought it was cute. Not super rewatchable for me. I mean, if it was on and there was nothing else on, I would watch it. I didn't dislike it, but it's not one like that I had to own or anything, like Moana, which I still don't own, which is crazy. But I love Moana so, so, so much. But anyway, but sadness is just, she's me in Sum Sum form, even more than Stitch because of the craziness, even more than Eeyore with the depression. Just that she's blue and wears glasses and looks like pure misery. Yeah, this is this is Sum Sum Me. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, this is Sum Sum Me. So I'm gonna have to try to collect the whole stack of sadness. Even though she was kind of a pain in the ass character in the movie, she caused some trouble. I still really like this one so much. I love her little sweater. I just think she's super adorable. So I'm thrilled to have a sadness in my collection. And as I said, I'm almost positive. I have to double check my list, but I'm almost positive that this large genie completes my genie stack. 
and I, I, the question for other Tsum Tsum collectors, the ones that come with the accessories in the blind bags that are medium size, they are identical to the ones that come in like these three packs that are medium size, correct? Because I count them on my list. If I get them in those blind bags with the accessories, like I mark on my checklist that I now have that character in medium. There is no difference between the ones that come in the three packs or the multi packs and the ones that come with the accessory packs, I hope. Please correct me if I'm wrong about that, because then I've been marking my list up incorrectly all this time. But anyway, so there is my large genie, and I love the eyebrows. I just, the expression is so, so cute. And of course, Robin Williams gives me all the feels. I miss him. He was such a wonderful person. You know, like I know him personally, but you, you all know how wonderful Robin was. And then last but not least, like I said, she is a duplicate, but... If I had to have a duplicate, I do not mind in the slightest bit having an extra Alice. My dad's only sibling, his sister Jackie, used to call me Alice in Wonderland when I was a little girl because I always had long blonde hair, except for when my mom gave me that horrible Dorothy Hamill cut that actually was more of the bowl haircut when I was like five years old. Not sh my mom personally, but she took me to have it done because that was the in thing in like 1978. And yes, I'm dating myself, but you all know how old I am anyway. But um, other than that, I've never really had short hair until when I was an adult. I mean, I had like shoulder length hair, but not short, short. But anyway, as a little girl, I, I pretty much always had long hair and wore it in a headband quite often. So my aunt used to call me Alice in Wonderland. So she gives me feels too. But anyway, that is my stack of new friends. So I'm very excited about that. As I previously stated, I now need to go and eat entirely too many Doritos. So thanks for watching, guys. And these are about to fall, of course. Story of my life. But thank you for watching. I love you guys. I will see you very soon and be back with more stuff. Bye.